Welcome back to American Agenda. Well, Americans continuing to feel the economic pinch with inflation remaining very stubborn as evidenced by the numbers released today showing the Fed's key inflation gauge rose 2.5 percent. Now that's well above the Fed's 2 percent target. Consumers are also struggling with elevated interest rates and an expected summer gas spike. That's not all. Yeah. As Katrina was just pointing out to me, we have Easter coming up. Obviously, though, get this, the price of cocoa is surging. All this makes Americans wonder how in the world are they going to put food on the table? Well, joining us now to talk about the state of the economy and the supply chain is the president of American Hartford Gold, Max Baker. Max, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thanks, okay. uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Here, let's talk about what you do at Hartford Gold and then just your take on the overall rising cost of things. And it seems like everything's being affected. Everything. Including yeah. chocolate Yeah, Easter and baskets cocoa. are going to be more expensive. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure. Well, look, we're uh, one of the largest retailers of physical gold in the country. We help uh, clients diversify and hedge with physical gold and silver. And uh, gold's up 24% in the past five months, floating around all-time highs right now. Um, and that's when you look at the money supply and how much it's increased the past four years, it's easy to see why. Yeah, no, that's a great point. I want to get your thoughts, though, on gas prices, because we're expecting prices to go up as the summer gets closer. And we know what that means, a bummer for family vacations, to say the very least. How do you think these rising prices on gas and continued rising prices on food and everything are affecting Americans? And I'm going to say not even just their wallets, but even their desire to potentially even work harder because the dollar just doesn't go as far. Right. You know, the dollar's been under attack since uh, the year 2000. Uh, the dollar's lost 25% of its purchasing power in that time. So your $100 bill is now worth, you know, $75 uh, just in the past four years alone. And so Americans are definitely feeling it. You know, we have to go to the gas pump. And, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where when you trade energy independence for energy dependence, we are very dependent uh, on what's going on with OPEC, with Ukraine with supply shortages, and uh, the, the cost of gas is up 40% um, uh, under the Biden administration versus the Trump administration. We're at $3.60 on average right now versus a two fifty seven average with, with Trump. So Americans are, are certainly feeling that. Why? Why do you think it's like that? Does it have anything to do with Biden and, and not unleashing our energy independence? Absolutely. We're, we're relying more on uh, uh, other countries to produce uh, this energy, whereas, uh, you know, under Trump, we were doing our best to be energy independent, and, and that's why we enjoyed uh, lower prices at the pump. Well, uh, it certainly was a lot cheaper, under $2 at one point oh, wow. under the Trump yeah. administration. Yeah. It's like getting free gas. <laughs> that's a long road trip. Yes. Good yes, summer road it trip. It was. Yeah. Everything was down back then. Max Baker, sir, thanks for coming on. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Max.